How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just uploaded uh, the video before this of me confronting a man in Thailand that I traveled to go and meet. I've been hyping this video up as it were for about five months, but because I had to take down the video for 24 hours, basically straight away after it was uploaded, YouTube sort of kicked it off the algorithms and stopped telling people that there was a video out there. So if you guys missed the video or you know didn't know it was a thing, it's the video before this. Check it out. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to it. I met a child predator in Peterborough uh, recently, uh, a couple of weeks ago now. I'm just getting everything together for a video to be uploaded on that. Obviously, there's a lot of information that I have to go through and I have to, you know, wait for the police to give me a okay on it, really. But I want to get more content out there for you guys. It's been a dry month for my channel. I haven't really uploaded anything and, you know, I, I know people do actually enjoy my content. The video I'm reacting today is by Predator Poachers OTR. I don't know what OTR stands for. The video was sent to me um, by one of my fans. So um, I haven't seen any of this video yet. They told me that I should watch it and you know, I'm going to oblige. So without any further hesitation, let's get into the video. First of all, it's 2021, mate, and this video was uploaded within the last, you know, couple of years. What are you recording this on? I mean, is this a Nokia brick? Are you using a Nokia brick in the 21st century, dude? You get a better camera. I mean, every fucking phone has a good camera. What's going on? I can see, like, it's like looking at a Minecraft video. There's like four pixels. Zoe, what's up? Uh, not much. Let's go outside and talk. Huh? Let's go outside and talk. Oh, okay. You know what you're here for. What? Notice how when she says, what? It's really quiet. She knows what she's here for and, you know, that's why she's trying to lower the, you know, the voice of the person who is confronting her. There was a well-known psychological study that showed that if you lower your voice to somebody in the same room as you, they will lower their voice to match yours. And he does that. People normally do this when they're afraid of being caught or you know exposed to you know a large group of people in a, in a certain area she's trying to diffuse the situation publicly so people don't know what she's there for this could be seen as a psychological mission of guilt no don't play stupid i was just being a friend what's the friend's name alice and how old is your friend 14 um 14 so you're telling me that somebody whose age is probably the same as her weight in stone is meeting a 14 year old as a friend? No, I, I don't buy it, I'm sorry. You wanna go outside and talk if you do this out here? Cause you know that's illegal, right? Oh, I'm not doing anything with it, I promise. The Honestly. text messages say different. I mean, you're also wearing a necklace that says 69. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> You've got a diamond Monty. Fucking Cupid Zirconiac necklace with the, word, with the fucking numbers 69 and a little Jesus cross. I don't think those two things should be near each other. Jesus, 69! You know? <laughs> I wasn't going to do anything with her. I've got a nexus that says 69. You know, I'm, I'm a stand-up citizen. You asked about her virginity. You might want to come outside. I've just seen that behind her there's a sign that says Happy Hooker Bait. Happy Hooker Bait. I mean, I've never seen a sign more fitting for a predator to me. I mean, you know, technically it's not a hooker, hooker bait, but you know, she caught onto the bait of, of, of a child. Mental. You wanna get your friend involved? Yep. Why is she smiling? <laughs> yep. Why, like, why do you have a smile on your face? What you're doing and what you're being accused of and what you're there to do isn't something you should be smiling about. What the fuck are you doing? All right, let's go talk. We can go talk over there if you'd like, if you want. Don't wanna be around your friend. Yeah. All right. Shit, uh, So what I like about the way that this man's conducting this is he's being relatively calm and he is not trying to cause a massive scene. He's tried to take her outside so people in the public can't hear what's going on, so he can try and get some more information from them uh, and hopefully go to the police, cross fingers. And he's even giving her the opportunity to, you know, walk away from her friends so her friend doesn't have to get involved in any way. This is a stark difference to some YouTubers who basically force the people that they meet to call family members just to publicly humiliate them. 
like, call your mum and I won't call the police. Like that, that sort of stuff is disgusting. And at least, you know, he's it, actually acting in a responsible manner. Go ahead, I don't see. So when you first contacted the decoy, what happened? I was just on the scout. Like, it said 18, and she told me she was 14. And, boy, at first, I was just, like, looking for friends and stuff. So she just admitted here that the decoy said that at some point in the conversation that they were 14 years old. As soon as this person said that they were 14, everything afterwards is now a crime. At the point that she believed that this decoy was 18 years old, I'm guessing it was on Tinder or, or an app like that where you have to be an adult to use it, everything before they say their age is 14 is admissible in court. It means absolutely nothing. For example, if she said, you're beautiful, I would really want to do blah, blah, blah to you. At the time that she believed that the girl was 18 years old, it doesn't stand up for anything. It doesn't mean anything in court. But if she says that, after the decoy says she's 14, it, it's a crime. And she's admitted to knowing the real age for this person, uh, and that's why a lot of these people record these videos. That's why I record it, because sometimes little slips of the tongue like that prove beyond a reasonable doubt in court that she knew exactly what she was doing. And she, she can get sentenced very easily from this. No jury's gonna turn around and throw this out. You know, she's admitted to it. I promise, like... <laughs> but who started the sexual talk? Alright, but why? Well, like, I wasn't like anything with her. I was like, flirting. Like, I have a girlfriend, but I was good to be with her, I promise. <laughs> I've, I've got a girlfriend. I wouldn't do anything to her. That's a promise. No, it's not funny. Just because just you've got a girlfriend, it doesn't make this any better. You, you know, a lot of the predators I catch are in relationships, right? <laughs> it means absolutely nothing. Oh, I've got a girlfriend who's over the legal age. Well, I would never do this. Shut up. You have a girlfriend. Yeah. You rode with your friend over 40 minutes to get here. You asked the minor. What did you ask the minor to do for you to get here? Nothing. No, 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 no. It wasn't. What did you ask the minor for in order for you to get here? I was just asking her for some gas money. That's it. You were asking the 14 year old <laughs> for gas money. You wanted to engage in sexual relations with a minor, but not only that, wanted the minor to pay for it. I am fucking baffled, dude. Holy shit. For what? Just gas money. Right, I'm gonna need you to speak up a little bit. We don't have to let everybody know, but I need you to gas speak money. up. All right. You asked the 14 year old for gas money. This is mental. Oh, my fucking brain. Do you, do, you, do you see the problem here? Yeah, but I promise I wasn't going to do anything. But you're here. To hang out with friends and that's it. Okay. Like, let's, I have let's, hard oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, these texts <laughs> can prove that you're not there to hang out with a friend. You're there to make out and cuddle with a with a child. I don't know why he's not pulling her up on this a lot more. Wait, let's, let's back up. Let's back up. I'm not let's, let's back up. Whether you... Okay. You want to say disability. Whether you're on disability or not, you're grown and you knew that it was wrong to come see this 14 year old child. Otherwise, she messaged me and texted me and like. Who started the messaging? She did. Right, there's a, there's a couple of things here. If the proper count was the first one to message, there may be some legal quabbles here. It depends what sort of state and how egregious the crimes are. But secondly, why is she messaging me back isn't a good enough excuse. The reason there's a legal age limit in different countries is because that's the age where they assume that this person is cognitively responsible enough to know what their actions uh, implement. In other words, this is when they know what is going on. So at the age of 10, 12, 14, if this person is responding, it's because they see you in a position of power maybe. It's because they see an older person and, and trust you and, and you're taking their trust and kicking it fucking yar yeet over the fence who messaged first i said hi but that's okay how got okay okay you can't you contacted the decoy first it's not illegal oh so wait 
she was the one to message first, which means that there is no legal quabble here. And <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know why she's smiling throughout this video. Is is it actually annoys me? It annoys me that she doesn't understand the complete ramifications of what she's doing. She's just sitting there like, ha, 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 ha. lovely day, isn't it? On that social application, who made the first? Who made the initial contact? I did. Why she? Okay. Nineteen. Okay. Okay. And what should have you done? If she shouldn't have been on there. Not contacted her. Right. And what else should I'm just you have what, what, right what else should you have done? Doesn't take a lot to confuse you, does it, ma'am? Quite clearly not. You know that you shouldn't have messaged her. You just said that, which again in court proves that she isn't crazy and she can't plead any sort of ignorance in court. She knows what she was doing wrong. She just admitted to that and she knows what she should have done. She just didn't do it. So everything you're throwing out is just skipping right across the water. There's no excuse. I know there's no excuse, but why is she even on our website? That's an excuse. What do you mean why is she on the website? Why are you talking? Why on the are you? Website. I understand that. Why are you talking to her? Look, look at her fucking smile. Like, it really winds me up. Look at her like, <laughs> you can't do sh. Like she's got this massive smile on her face because she, like in my opinion, believes that she's smarter than the man that's catching on to her and he's being way too nice to her I, I don't normally say that I normally say people should be you know a lot nicer than what they're being but she 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 feels like she's in charge of this entire situation if he doesn't call the police in it and teach her a fucking proper lesson here she's gonna carry on doing this look at her face and tell me that's that's somebody that regrets what they've done why didn't you ban it we go back to that you're saying why is she on there so you're I think part of your disability is you can't accept the responsibility why is she writing me in the first place? Though? And we're back to getting you blaming a minor. Do you realize that's a child? I was just trying to make What's your friends. disability? I was just trying to make friends. Oh my God, stop. Like, you're going around in circles. Why is she messaging me? I said she was my friend. Like, fuck, just shut, just own responsibility for this. You've admitted to doing it. It's not like you're innocent here. You've admitted to it. All right, check this out. We're gonna go talk to your friend. Let's go. Cause you're full of He doesn't even like know. No, we're gonna, I know he doesn't know, but he's gonna know now. So he gets pretty heated. Uh, <laughs> because just annoying um, and he posts proof on the screen again it's not a full text conversation which makes this harder to sort of go into but she asks if this 14 year old is a virgin the 14 year old responds I'm pretty innocent if I'm going to be honest she responds back not if I was there implying that she was gonna take her virginity and yes it's only implying but along with actually attending a meeting um, this could be seen as, as, as evidence of attempted meeting a minor for um, the intent of sex, which is what it is. Hey, how's it going? Good. All right, uh, I don't need to know your name. I'm gonna keep your face off, but you realize your friend here to see a 14 year old girl? No, I didn't know. I know you didn't know, but I'm letting you know because she's not accepting responsibility for this. All right, um, I, she, she, you know, she knows, that's illegal. She got you involved while bringing you here. What he's saying here is true, technically he is, as this is in America, when somebody breaks a federal crime, any accomplice in the crime is also committing a federal crime and taking this girl to meet a 14 year old makes him somewhat culpable and he may be prosecuted for <laughs> aiding this, which is kind of fucked up. She's talking throughout this video about how she was just looking for friends. Maybe treat the friends you've got with a bit more respect. I just a friend. I don't know. I personally don't know her that well. I just give her rides every now and then. Okay. Uh, but I'll, I'll try to get to her family. You you have her family's information? No, that's a thing. And nobody you do not know properly should have any of your personal information either. That's why I use Surfshark. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so good at these little segues into promotions. Surfshark is a VPN service, which stands for Virtual Private Network. If you don't know what this means, it means that you can move your IP address, which is sort of like your online identity, anywhere in the world. I used one of these when I was in Thailand meeting the uh, predator I met over there and every single conversation I ever have with these people is through a VPN service. It's not hard for people to be able to find your IP address and track down roughly where you live. If you're a parent or a child, you need something like this as an extra layer of protection while messaging people online. It doesn't only protect you and your family from, you know, hackers and people finding out your personal information, 
but it also has a load of cool benefits as well. For example, when I was in Thailand, I could go onto the English Netflix by just changing my IP address to England. And then when I realized I could do that, I changed it to American Netflix because they've got way better shows. There's loads of benefits to using a virtual private network. They're listed on the website, which you can find out by clicking the link in my description down below. And also using my link and using the code FOX, you receive 83% off your order and three months for free. 83 percent off your order and three months for free. Not only are you getting three months for free, but you're only paying 17% of the normal price if you didn't watch my videos. Like, it's such a good deal that you may as well jump on it. So thank you again for Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Um, make sure you guys go check them out, keep safe online, and you know, get all the cool benefits of Surfshark as well. You ready to accept responsibility? Yes. Like, I'm not lying, I'm going to a This is me. This is my mom's old address. This is my disability card. Uh, I, this is, like I said, this has nothing to do with you being disabled. Unless she has a severe mental disability that um, a court would look at this and say uh, could be a, a contributing factor to her doing this, uh, it, it means nothing. You know, disabilities can range between literally missing a toe to, to very severe cerebral palsy. There's a whole spectrum of disabilities and not and only putting out a disability card to prove that doesn't really mean anything. In my opinion, she seems cognitive enough to understand what's going on. She speaks in full formulated sentences. She's not acting in a way that I would look at and say, oh, she's clearly disabled. And because of these, I'm leaning towards a jury seeing that as well. This has to do with the fact that you came to see a child and you knew it was wrong, all right? Correct? Is that wrong? Yes, it is. Did you know that it was wrong? Yes. Okay, so. I did. What, was it her fault that y'all that you're up here? I'm not saying it's her fault at all. I just wanted to like hang out and like chill. But okay. So, like she said she wanted me as Chevron. Mm hmm For me to go inside, and that's what I thought we were doing today. It was just like hanging out because. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Because even I've seen you saying that you wanted to take her virginity, so don't lie to me. But she's admitted in this little conversation as well that she, she knows what she's doing is completely wrong, and th this isn't the first time she's said this. She, she can't blame her disability for this. She knows what's going on. You can blame your disability if you don't understand completely, if you don't understand the laws. But she does, and she was willing to do it anyway. I'm gonna call your dad because you don't. You seem like you have an issue accepting responsibility. No, I am accepting it. But you're you're not. You're 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 saying that you're coming to hang out. Yeah. And you were coming it. to do a little bit more. What did you ask her to do in the back seat? Just sit? No, no. See, I said earlier on that I respect this man for not calling family members to publicly humiliate her for a YouTube video and he is threatening to do that, which makes me lose that original bit of respect that I gave him. And I'm quite disappointed that this seems to be an ongoing feature in these YouTubers sort of careers that they want a better thumbnail and a better title from their videos and they're willing to jeopardize a case but unnecessarily ruin somebody's life more so than what they would already be doing i, I, I don't know i don't think you should humiliate these people in such a way to personal family members it, it just doesn't sit right with me well she could block me like go ahead and call your dad because see you're still putting the blame on her go no, ahead and call your call your father you have, you have an option of that or I'm going to forward the, the information to the police. Man, for sake, I literally said earlier on in the video, I'm so glad that he's not making her call a family member and then threatening her with police action if she doesn't do it. He's doing exactly the same fucking thing that these fucking cretins on YouTube do. They're, they're all the same, man. They're all the same, all they care about is, is extra fucking clicks and views and viewer retention. It, it really winds me up. It really fucking does. Jesus, like, oh, fuck man. You guys may enjoy this type of content, but I look at this from my position as somebody that tries to get these people sentenced. And all this does is ruin cases. 
If he doesn't call the police, she goes off scot-free. She then can delete all the evidence from her phone from maybe other conversations she's having with other children. Because you confronted her like this and let her get away with it. Like, you're not only ruining this particular case, but you're stopping children from getting safeguarded. Alright, so, uh, your daughter came up here to meet a 14-year-old child. Um, she's saying that she's disabled and uh, she's putting that on the reason why um, she said many things to this child, taking her, uh, wanted to cuddle with her and some of she, uh, she's here in uh, Vacaville. Um, so I'm wondering if you could talk to your daughter a little bit. How'd she get there? She had somebody drive her here. She asked the minor to give this man $65 to bring her out here. Right, so this is an important piece of evidence and as much as I hate it when people call the parents, I think it's so bad. He does confirm that she has a mental disability and she's got an IQ of 50, which is 82 below me. That's kind of mad, like that, that's not a an IQ that would make her cognitively sort of vigilant to what's going on which may throw a spanner in the works in this entire investigation. It may do. Other predators that have very low IQs and his classes of disability are people like Mark Feely. That's why he gets away with it as much as he does, because he's actually mentally disabled. But it doesn't excuse what you're doing. Even though she has a mental disability, you should still go to the police about this. Because then the police can either prosecute her if they find her cognitively, you know, aware enough and if not they can give her the proper counseling and you know give her somebody and take away her ability to message children they need to they need to go to the police regardless they uh, like if he doesn't call the police this is still a massive failure uh, do you know if this is something she has a problem with she does hate women online but i've never been that one so young um in fact, she was just she's dating a 24 year old right now. That's what she said, you know, and I, I gave her the opportunity. I would not have bothered you, uh, first of all, and I thank you for answering the phone and talking to me, being cordial. Um, but the reason why I called you is because she, she, one, she knew it was wrong, and she has admitted that. But when it comes to admitting <clears throat> what she's done, of course, that's a problem. And you know, any adult that comes out to see a child that has problems admitting that need to be held responsible. Yeah, I understand. So if she needs to be held responsible in your eyes, why have you not called the police yet and called her father instead? If she needs to be held responsible for this, why post a video before a police investigation? Like, what you're saying doesn't make sense. You're, you're trying to say the right things so people don't jump on your back like I am right now. Get your information um, before we take off and I'll keep in touch with you. All right, absolutely. Thank you. What do you mean by take off? Well, I'm, I'm going to let her go pretty soon, of course. I mean, I'm not detaining her. She's welcome to go at any time. But I'm saying once we separate ways, I'd like to have a way to contact you to make sure she gets some help. Why have you not citizen arrested her or detained her in that sense? Why are you letting her go? Like, like I said before, let's say she is like to the point of mentally disabled where she doesn't understand what's going on. That doesn't stop the hurt that it can provide to these children that she may be messaging. And you're not letting them be safeguarded properly when you let her go. If she goes home and deletes every bit of evidence she's got of everything, I can't like, that's a, that's a madness. I don't know why you haven't called the police. Like, I started this video off watching it and going, oh, do you know what? He's actually all right. He speaks calmly. He's taking her away from the situation. He's not making her call her family. I reckon he might call the police. And yet, Five, ten minutes later, I realized that he's just another fucking YouTuber that wants another clickbait video. And it, it does hurt me, man, because it's the wrong way of doing it. It's completely the wrong way of doing it. I'm sure you're a good person and people make mistakes. But that's a huge mistake because it affects someone's life. It affects someone's How you proceeded with what your plan was you don't know what kind of mental issues would have happened as a result. And I, I don't mean anything as far as your disability, okay? Yeah. What I mean is 
I myself, I was okay, and it messed. I was very angry, very angry, for a lot of my life, and it took a lot for me to get over. Did that happen to you at all? That was time. I understand, and it hurt, right? Yeah, been right there since I was like ten and fifteen. That happened to my cousin, so I understand. So with that pain that you have, would you have wanted to brought that on another child? No, that's what I never wanted to do. Like, this is the first time that this happened. I understand it's your first time, but understand also that you're here and it was going to happen. So he's saying some relatively decent things there. He is trying to defuse the situation, but they shouldn't stop him calling the police. I mean, I've had predators cry when I've confronted them, and, and you can't let your emotions get involved in this. As, as sad as that is, you know, it's, it's never nice seeing anyone cry regardless of who they are. There's a part of us in Bill that doesn't like it. I don't like watching her cry. I don't like anyone crying. But you have to still do your due diligence. You have the evidence. Go to the police. Let them sort it out. If they want to let her get off, at least you did the right thing. But right now you're not doing the right thing. And I don't want that to play in your mind. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm going to leave the video there, guys. If you agreed with anything that I said in this video, drop it a like and comment down below. Uh, I agree. If you didn't, I'm sure you're going to let me know anyway, because everyone always does. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. Peace.